hopefully we're back online, I think. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. I think we had a bit of a technical uh, a technical issue. Um, yeah. So we start yeah. again. Hello, everybody. I'm Yoshiki Gami, president of Boss. I'm talking from Japan. So, Matt, how are you today? Yes, not too bad, thank you. And thanks for everyone uh, for joining in or retuning in, uh, if that's the case. This it's is Mark Talk two. with Boss. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes, literally Mark II. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks to everyone for joining in. Minor technical error there. Um, this is Talk with Boss, our weekly live stream. And uh, this is where we dive into some of your comments and questions on a particular product. And Yoshi-san, do you want to introduce the theme for this week? Yes. Today we are going to talk about Katana Amplifier Series. And mm -hmm. also today we'll have an announcement at the end of this program. So please stay tuned until the end. Yes. Yes, we're going to have an exciting announcement for uh, for everyone right at the end. Um, so, Yoshi-san, why don't we start with a little bit of a, a look back uh, for maybe people who aren't familiar uh, with the history and the chronological order of uh, Katana. Yes. Katana are released in 2016, September. We started with uh, Katana 50, Katana 100, Katana 100 212 version, and Katana Head. We started with four <laughs> models. Then, uh, 2017, June, Katana Mini was released. We yeah. made a cool video with uh, Andres Kissa from yes. Splutura and with his uh, son, Johan. They yes, are here. I remember, yeah. You remember, right? Yeah, really good, fu funny, funny video, yes. and kind of uh, unlike some of the other videos we'd done at that time as well. I thought mm. that was really cool. Yep. And also, 2018 January at Winter Nam, we mm. released the Katana Artist as a flagship model of Katana series, and mm -hmm. the Katana Air with a full wireless concept. Yes. And next year, 2019 October. It's three years later from the debut of Katana. We decided to uh, have a Mark II. So mm -hmm. we had a, a Katana 50 Mark II, Katana 100 Mark II, Katana 100 212 mm -hmm. Mark II, and Katana Head Mark II. Yep. Then next winter, now, 2020, January, uh, finally mm -hmm. we had Katana Artist Mark II. That is the history of Katana Amplifier. Yes, and a very a very rich history in such a short amount of time, mm. you know, five years. And kind of a strange for me because I've probably talked about Katana mm. every day um, yeah. since 2016. And I, I actually started three weeks before wow. uh, <laughs> before Katana you, was launched. You're a lucky so. guy, you know. <laughs> you, made, yeah. you made this so, success, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join, join at the best point um but yeah so you know it's been kind of a, a strange but huge history and and real real change you know for us and our, and our amps but i think they've really grown up with the kind of users and uh, the user groups as well you know what what do you think about that yes yes when we did the uh, software version map or model change we already <laughs> watched that conversation uh, between you know uh users, customers on mm -hmm. forums like Facebook or you know, Gear page, a lot of such yeah. kind of SNS type of conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, of course, we always try to make perfect product before yeah. releasing. But, yeah. you know, customers situation is very much variety. They have mm -hmm. all different situation and different demand. So after mm -hmm. releasing product, we are carefully watching the voice from the market. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, of course, we are very much happy. Uh, most of the uh, design, like a, a sound, function, spec, mm -hmm. and, and also including original amp type, speaker yep. sound, and hardware, such kind of uh, particular design. You know, that mm -hmm. was our happiness, of course. But yeah. always we are watching uh, the reaction from the customers. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, you know, so many people have, have been so happy with just Kitana straight out of the box. And mm -hmm. I think we were talking at, 
rehearsals before about being a grab and go, you know, easy to use. And I think so many people have found for that. Yes. But of course, the user's voice is very, very important and a very important point. And, and part of that has actually been the Katana users Facebook group. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, hasn't it? Yes. So, yeah, good news. Last week, uh, Facebook Katana Amplifier group succeeded <laughs> 20,000 members. Congratulations, yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we are very much appreciate. A lot of guys are loving Katana Amplifier. And mm -hmm. I would like to introduce the, a guy very much important for this Katana Facebook group, Mr. Mm -hmm. JB Avery. Uh, he is a group founder. Very much passionate guy and serious guy. Maybe he's yeah. Canadian, so a little bit different from American guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so before this uh, program, we asked him to answer some questions. So we mm -hmm. got a, a video message from him. So right. please take a look at uh, video a little bit. Hello, Yoshi-san. Thank you very much for inviting me to talk with Bus. I feel very honored today to be part of this with you and all the Bus uh, team members. I am Jean-Benoit JV from the Katana Amps Facebook group. To make a long story short, yeah, let's say it goes back to the late 90s. Uh, in that, at that time, I was already uh, managing a small community about the Line 6 pod. You remember probably the red beam. So back then, uh, the internet was kind of still uh, smaller. And uh, why I started that group at that time is what I was look, noticing that there was um, a need for a, a community to help the users. If we go back right, uh, to 2016, um, I remember uh, hearing about the Katana Amps on a, a few uh, guitar groups that I was uh, going at that time. And uh, there was a lot of talk about that. And everybody was raving about how they sounded good and everything. So uh, I dec decided on my on my side to go and try one at the music store and uh, it was a I would say a 10 minute uh, test drive and I bought I bought the end. going through all the, the groups and the forums and they were none dedicated to the Katana amps so I said oh why not I'll create one and we'll see so uh, that's about it it started uh, just on a simple idea Was I expecting the group to become so huge and big? Uh, absolutely not. This is <laughs> way beyond my wildest, wildest dreams. Um, when I created it, I was thinking, well, maybe if we hit 50, 100 members, that will be quite good. And then, you know, we'll start from there. And uh, in the first few weeks, months, it reached quickly a thousand members. And now uh, about let's say about four years later where we just reached 20,000 members so I never thought that uh, one piece of gear or one series of piece of gear would uh, reunite all uh, so many so many uh, musicians that use that piece of gear so I'm yeah it's over it's over it's over me and, and I'm like wow That's a very difficult question to answer. I think the old series from the Katana 50, even from the mini, from the mini to the, uh, the artists, I think they're all great. But if I have to pick one, I would, it will be difficult. But I would say I, I would pick, pick two of, two are my favorites. The Ed, for sure the Ed is kind of a, the, I would say the, the all around Katana, you have uh, an amp that you can use with your favorite, whatever favorite cab you have, 
or you can use it on its own because it has a small internal speaker. I think the concept of the small internal speaker is pretty cool. So you can use it at home, tweak your sound, use it for low volume practice and everything. And I think it's great, works with the foot controller. For me, it's like my favorite one of the series. But I have a little soft spot for the Cat 50. Why? It's small, it sounds good, it's loud, uh, it's affordable, and it's the, the, the small package makes it very easy to lug it around. So uh, I think it doesn't have all the, the bells and whistles of the bigger models, but it has all the effects and everything in it. So for me, it's kind of a fun little amp, you know, you can have even two if you want because they're afford affordable. It's uh, pretty loud, so I, I really like the, the little 50 and it's, it's the one I carry around my house when I'm being kicked out of my music room or something, or even when I want to play outside. The Tetana Mini is cool, it works on battery, but this one has all the effects and everything, so I can, can bring it outside, bring, plug it in, a, you know, and have fun with it. As I just said in my previous answer, <laughs> the Katana is a full package. So you can have one amp and you have almost everything you need to get a good sound. From playing with a band, practicing at home, having fun recording, you can record it, as I said, direct, or you can use a mic, just as any other amps. Uh, and how it transformed my life? Well, it's it's my go-to. You know, I plug in it, it's, it sounds good. At low volume these days i don't have a band so i only play at home so i don't want to disturb <laughs> all my family members so it's easy to get a good sound at low volume uh, and also uh, i like having all the effects built in so you now it's very you need a tube screamer you got one you need a delay you got one you need some reverb some chorus it's all in the all in the end so this transformed my guitar life and if we go uh, beyond the guitar rig uh, I would say the whole Katana series has transformed my life completely because of the community, you know. As it's so huge, uh, I have never expected uh, all, all the things that surround uh, being part of such a great a group. And uh, I feel so privileged, for example, last year we were able to meet you and I, uh, Yoshi-san, at NAM with all your bus team. That was so awesome. Thanks again for inviting me to your uh, very cool show. Bye-bye. Thank you for the message, Jerry. Yeah, we met him at 2020 Winter Nam. Mm. Yeah, but before that, he was always supporting new members, how to update Katana or, you know, if there are any patches or something. So always he yeah. is spending his time for supporting uh, Katana Group members. So we are yes. very much appreciating, you know, his support always. So yeah. by, by the um, way, Matt, are you in the group? Of course, of course. And, uh, you know, not just because I, I, I work for Boss, obviously I love Katana and I think it's a fantastic forum uh, jb um, and some of the other admins that he has now have done a fantastic um job and i and i think for me it's always the interesting ideas you know that people post about sounds or sound creation in that group that's um that's been really good what what about you yoshi san yeah of course me too you know and also the audience people you guys are in akatana group Mm -hmm. Maybe today a lot of guys are coming from uh, Katana uh, Facebook group. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are always, you know, enjoying your post, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, many people um, have joined the stream this morning. Um, just, just quickly a sh uh, shout out to the people that have joined. Um, morning to Henry. Mm -hmm. uh, Alberto, who who joins regularly, um, Jan from France. Uh, we have Bishoy from Egypt this morning, uh, Patrick and Paul. Um, and there's a few people asking some some questions that we are going to come to later. Uh, so actually, make sure you stay tuned for the answer to those questions. And 
as Yoshi San mentioned at the beginning of the stream, there will also be an announcement too. So stick around um, to to the end. So Yoshi San, talking about the Katana Facebook group, mm -hmm. um, do you have any posts that have impressed you? Yes, um, yes. I I like the uh, people uh, post the Katana photo with beer bottle. You know, <laughs> that was kind of like uh, happiness, uh, drinking yeah. beer and playing guitar with katana, you know. Yep. And yep. also the other one is uh, with a cat, you know. Yes. Katana with cat, <laughs> right? I, yeah. I, I'm a kind of like uh, a dog group guy, but <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think uh, cat cat on a cat was one of the, uh, the, the one of the things that came out. But obviously enjoy seeing the beers. Um, Many beers, mm -hmm. I think, on on this. <laughs> yeah. So and yeah, do you have any interesting posts? Yes. Recommend? Yeah, yeah. For me, um, one thing, obviously, so many people in the Katana group are very passionate about Katana, mm -hmm. um, and the people who who really love it. Obviously, there's a lot of people that want to customize it. Uh, so for me, I've I've enjoyed seeing people with different grill cloths. You know, some you know some people put a kind of brown one or a more boutique one or or change the look. But what I always find great is people always leave the katana logo mm -hmm. and the name on the front as well. And I think we should be quite proud of that. But yeah, lots of people customizing their amps. Mm -hmm. I think is mm -hmm. always an interesting one. Yeah. So officially, I I I cannot recommend to do this assemble, <laughs> you know, unit. But but someone made or some. Uh, foot, foot type of power amp, and mm -hmm. also someone changed the speaker. Yeah, you know, that's just, uh, very much interesting to watch. Yes, yeah, it's it's one of those interesting trends on the group. But another one for me, and, and I will read this out. I've got this written down here. Um, was a polite letter uh, mm -hmm. from the neighbourhood that someone posted about practicing. So the the uh, person in question posted this letter. Uh, while guitar practicing is desirable and a good idea, it's also a good idea when it's done mm -hmm. uh, either with headphones uh, or down to an appropriate room level, you know, but thank you very much and keep practicing. Um, I thought that was <laughs> kind of interesting, but yeah, very yeah, funny it, as well. It happens. You know? Yeah, it happens quite often, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but, you know, Katana has a power control function. So mm -hmm. you can crank up... Uh, katana out uh, master volume with a uh, good feel then you can yeah. control power uh, control the power so if you select 0 0.5 watt it's qu mm -hmm. quite quite uh small sound so yeah is that, that good for your neighborhood yeah <laughs> yeah maybe a bit more friendly for, for the practice <laughs> but yeah. i think importantly using the power control helps maintain the dynamic feel and response mm -hmm. at a lower volume without turning down the master volume uh you know so you can maintain a really good feel mm -hmm. but you know at a more maybe desirable volume for, for the neighborhood um so just before we move on to the q a uh, just checking the comments again there's a few more people that have joined um mm -hmm. we just encourage everyone to, to post in the comments live if you've got any questions um, it's really good for us and obviously we'll try and answer some of the ones that have come in already um, in this next section because I want to talk about some some questions and answers, Yoshi-san, that have come in through the group and through the, the Facebook post. Um, so we'll try and get through as many as possible. The first question is uh, from someone who's considering a Katana 100 Mark mm -hmm. II uh, and they put... Why does Katana 100 adopt an open back? It seems mm. to have less low end sound compared to a closed back. Uh, could you tell your answer to the uh, to the customer there, Yoshi san Yeah, the biggest reason we selected the open back is uh, open back provides much louder sound compared to <laughs> closed back cabinet. Mm -hmm. And as you said, sometimes open back is a little bit loose the low end sound but mm -hmm. we adjust that sound we tuned all the sound with the open cabinet mm -hmm. 
So, <laughs> ca、uh, speaker tuned for that cabinet, and <laughs> everything is tuned to get the best sound. So,、yeah. it doesn't mean open back、uh, is spoiled some low end, you know. Right. So, of course, a close back, sound,、uh, close back cabinet provides much more. Rich raw and sound, but,、mm -hmm. but usually that is good for two speakers, four speakers configuration, you know.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you really like close back、uh, cabinet sound,、uh, please、mm -hmm. try Katana Head and Katana Cabinet 212. That is close、yeah. back, and、mm -hmm. maybe you can get、uh, very much、uh, good sound.、Mm -hmm. And also, another tip. Is when you use open back guitar amplifier,、uh, you need to adjust the、uh, setting place of the amplifier.、Mm -hmm. If that、mm -hmm. is too much close to wall, that's、mm -hmm. affect to the low end sound. So you need to adjust the space between amplifier and wall, like、yeah. maybe five inch or something.、Uh, that s、right, change、okay. the sound very much. So, it's、right. always very important how to set up amplifier in the, in the、uh, room, especially、mm -hmm. room is not so large. Yes, yeah, and I think you made a good point there about、uh, obviously, some people probably aren't aware that we do tune the speakers and the sound depending on the cabinet. For, for me, I find that actually an open back is a bit more airy and, and say a bit more volume.、Mm -hmm. um, You know, if you're using it at home, sometimes a closed back is very punchy, like、mm -hmm. you say, maybe a bit more low end. So,、yeah. there's we try and find a balance. But one option that might work、um, is actually the Katana、mm -hmm. Artist、mm -hmm. um, because it adopts a semi closed back.、Yes. So, that might be a candidate for, for you.、Mm -hmm. And with that, we have the, the custom Waza speakers as well.、Uh, so, the next question、um, here is Does the Katana Amp series? Have the same class effects、mm -hmm. as the GT series.、Mm. Uh, do you want to talk about that a little bit, Yoshi san? Yeah. You know, the boss, we have a lot of assets of the effects.、Mm -hmm. So、yeah. we are, of course, using such a s s e t But some effects are really designed only for Katana, you know,、mm -hmm. like、uh, Roland DC 30 simulation and 95E pedal wall. Those、mm -hmm. are all, you know, tribute to EVH. You know,、yes. another concept of Katana amplifier was providing、uh, good brown sound. So,、mm -hmm. of course,、yeah. we are always thinking about EVH. We have a lot of EVH fan guys in design group.、Mm -hmm. So,、yeah. and also, you know, amplifier,、uh, they are all original for Katana.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is、uh, 10 types. And also, Mark II, we have another variation of five types. That is following、yeah. original sound, but covering much more wider、uh, sound variation. Yes. And yes. as a hardware,、uh, per amp stage, we have a class AB circuit. So、mm -hmm. that is、uh, providing or、uh, generate. Pure original amp type sound. So,、mm -hmm. the combination of amplifier and effects, such as、uh, functions,、uh, mm -hmm. Katana can provide organic sound. So, we are、yeah. adjusting all the sound with, uh, with uh, uh, hardware and the software. That is Katana.、Mm -hmm. Yes, well, thank you very much for the clarification. But I think, as you said, again, it's that custom tuning, it's that level of、um, deep diving that we do when we,、mm -hmm. we build the amp. But also, that from a hardware perspective, that class AV power amp is so important to the, again, the, the feel and response、um, of, of the guitar. And I'm sure many users agree、um, with that as well. So, the, the next question here. Is that the booster and delay and reverb section、mm. share the same pr parameters among three effects? So, is it possible to set those parameters independently? Oh, so that is a spec, so it's difficult to use a different setting on same setting,、uh, tone setting. Yeah. However, you can use a custom setting 
you know, that, that can have a, a different setting on custom setting, and mm -hmm. you can memory that setting. So Katana 50 yeah. Mark II has four. Katana mm -hmm. uh, 100 Mark II and higher, they have eight memories. So you yes. can you can save such as uh, settings, and also you can recall the setting by foot switch as well. Yes, yes, and 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 talking of a foot switch, I think one thing that um, maybe some people aren't aware of or haven't haven't maybe tried yet is our specific GAFC foot controller mm. that make changing channels and, and you know effects a, a much easier process mm -hmm. um it really opens up the katana 100 and higher um, but also we have you know fs5 6 and 7 as well as our expression pedals ev30 ev5 uh are also available so you know there's uh, quite a few options there as well yeah that's right and also for connection of the gfc we have <laughs> a good trs cable bcc series from boss mm -hmm. So yeah. if you want a GAFC on the stage, we have 30 feet TRS cable. So we have a, a 3 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet selection of TRS cable. Yeah. Yeah. And also we have a good uh, speaker cable uh, connecting between head and the cab. So we yes. have 3 feet, 5 feet, the two selection, uh, BSC yeah. cable. Yes, yeah, both amazing cables and, you know, really solid quality, especially that TRS cable, that braided cable is fantastic. Um, but I actually, one one accessory while we're, we're talking about those that mm -hmm. I want to suggest for Katana was the new BAS-1 amp fans that were launched in March. Uh, one article played play it as the ultimate tone hack for uh, Katana. Um, and it's a great way to monitor at home, in the rehearsal room, in a studio. Um, so it's a fantastic little stand if you haven't seen that, the BAS-1. Um, but also as well for people who want to keep their katana uh, nice and clean in their room or in the studio. We also make the uh, BAS Cat, which is the um, little cover for it as well. So lots of accessory options as well. Um, so let's move on to the next question and uh, we've had this this kind of request a couple of times uh can we remove the cab and speaker stimulator sound from mm -hmm. the line out recording out or usb mm -hmm. out signal um, yeah what do you think about that Yoshita? yeah you know katana concept we wanted to make katana uh, to providing the best sound and that should be very easy and quick Mm -hmm. You know, another word that is a uh, uh, grab and go amplifier. Yes. So yeah. we uh, adjusted all, all the things, you know, custom speaker, cabinet, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. how to drive the speaker. We made a yeah. sound as a total sound, you know. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to uh, realize such a real sound to mm -hmm. line output or USB mm -hmm. output, of course. So yeah. we decided to add uh, amp simulation on, mm -hmm. onto the line, line output. But technically, mm -hmm. the JB probably he uh, reacted to the question. So yeah. uh, higher than Katana 100 Mark II, uh, that mm -hmm. has a stereo expand function. Mm -hmm. So when you use turn on stereo expand, uh, mm -hmm. you can get uh, the sound without Amp simulation. That is one of yes. the way to get uh, such a straight sound. Yes, and um, I, what I would say is that um, the speaker sound uh, from the USB out is is really good. And just as an example, um, my my friend's band actually they they were in a Boss video mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. They recorded an album last year, and all the guitar parts were recorded at home with a Katana. Wow. USB straight into a DAW wow. um, and it just sounds amazing. So mm -hmm. I think actually a great option, again, for someone who just wants to record at home, all the sounds uh, are in the box and, and ready to go. Yeah, is that good to know? Yeah, yeah. It's just a fantastic straight over USB. 
So finally, uh, Yoshisan, there was a couple of user requests. Mm -hmm. um, you know, could we be able to customize the assignment of the GAFC in the future? Mm -hmm. Or are we able to change the chain order with a future update? Oh, so now Mark II has five effects unit. Mm -hmm. You can use five effects at the same time. So this question request is naturally happening. I, I mm -hmm. understand. So right yeah. now I cannot promise to you guys when, but but maybe we will consider. To yeah. Realize. Yeah, I think um, as you've said many times before, Yoshisan. Obviously, we have limited <laughs> resource sometimes, yes. but we are always checking and um, you know doing as as much as we can for mm. for our for our users out there. So thanks very much for all the comments. Sorry we couldn't get around to everything, yeah. um, but do make sure you join that Katana Facebook users group. Um, and there's obviously some great people in there helping out as well. So, uh, yesterday, we should probably finish um, with um, the announcement that you mm. mentioned at the beginning of the stream. So, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. You know, for celebrating 20,000 members of Facebook Katana Group, we decided mm -hmm. to uh, make a, a software update. So, mm -hmm. we maybe it's already uploaded to our website, uh, Katana yeah. Mark II version 1.1. Mm -hmm. So please check after this program. Yes. <laughs> don't don't check right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and do you want to um, do you want to give us a bit of uh, detail um, yeah. in the the update? It's not a huge update. Uh, this time we add two effect to the mm -hmm. uh, effect section: mm -hmm. HM2 and ML2 metal core. You yeah. know, right now we are uh, having another group, HM2W group, mm -hmm. and talking about HM2. So now my intention is going to metal very much. So yeah. this time we add two metal effects on mm -hmm. Katana. So, and also uh, another thing is uh, uh, from, from this version, we adapt to Mac OS Big Saw. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, delivering a new driver. So that yep. works with Intel Mac and M1 Silicon chip. So mm -hmm. yeah, finally, we update driver to adapt to a uh, new Mac OS. And yes, also, uh, we are checking uh, compatibility with the other product. So mm -hmm. step by step, we are uh, releasing a new Mac OS uh, drivers. And also don't <laughs> forget to update the BTS at the same time. Yes. You know, updating uh, Katana software, you need to update BTS software at the same time. Yes, yeah, very, very important point there. Um, but a fantastic update, obviously, for people wanting a uh, slightly more heavier sound mm -hmm. uh, from their, their Katana. I know a lot of metal players are already using Katana. And someone did post in the group a little while ago about when will HM2 be added. So hopefully there'll be some pleased people out there. Um, but I also know many users were waiting for a corresponding update for the latest uh, silicon chip and, mm -hmm. and Big Sur. So that's fantastic for them. Thanks all for, for waiting and your patience on that um, update as well. As Yoshisan said, we are checking and updating as much as possible. Uh, so before we come to the end, I think it's worth just checking in on some of the comments. Um, I know uh, Patrick says, hope that means we're closer to the HM2W release. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, if you haven't seen it, we did actually do a live stream a few weeks ago uh, on HM2W with some of the updates in timing and rough price. So do check back um, through through that. Um Mod is very happy with the additional effects there, which is great. Um, Patrick also ordered some TRS cables, so that's amazing. Um, let's have a look. Well, Cossie has joined. Adam has joined. Um, and I think there was one comment from a customer regarding... Uh, oh, Paul says, when will we update to Apple Big Sur? 
hopefully um, you can now go after this stream and update your amp and uh, you'll be away. So there we go. Um, uh, also, Vasco's joined, Alex has joined. So thanks very much, everyone, for your comments. Uh, we haven't got time to get through everyone uh, today, but obviously we'll try and get back to as many as we can. And again, the Katana Facebook group is a fantastic resource for anyone mm -hmm. who has some questions along the way. So, um, Yoshisan, I think as well, um, you know, that was a fantastic stream. Thanks to JB. Um, but we also have another small announcement is that we have decided to start releasing the Talk With Boss archives. You know, we have over 40 streams, over a year's worth um, of, of streams on the Boss YouTube channel. So we'll talk about that in more detail on the Facebook group, but it will allow everyone to go back and, and watch uh, some of these streams on various products and, and hopefully get a bit more inside information uh, on our Boss products. And for next week, do you want to introduce the theme, Yoshisan? Yeah, before we talk about uh, yellow pedals, yellow <laughs> dry pedals. So how about yeah. talk uh, black dry pedals, yes. like MT2, ST2, and also uh, this time we added to Katana ML2, maybe. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is a good high gain black dry pedal. Yeah, oh, we have many, uh, many pedals in that theme. Um, but also, yeah, maybe good to talk to some people through ML2 and some of the other pedals maybe they are less familiar with. So hopefully you'll join us next time too. Uh, after this stream, we will post the announcement for next week. You can join us uh, again, similar time, April the 14th, 7.30am uh, uh, GMT, 3.30pm uh, Japanese Standard Time and 11.30pm will be on the 13th uh, LA um, time. So we will see you all next week. Thank you for joining everybody. See you next week. <laughs>